Welcome to my YouTube channel guys. In this video, I gonna explain you about USB fork that is upside down fork and conventional telescoping fork. Actually what front fork do? It's a connection between front wheel and the bike chassis. In a motorcycle, like other vehicles, the suspension system's main job is of absorbing the rough surfaces beneath the machine's tires and isolating the rider from the resultant joints. In addition to enhancing the comfort for the rider, however, a motorcycle suspension plays a key role in defining its handling and steering characteristics. Based on its setup, a motorcycle suspension can play an important role in enhancing a motorcycle's grip and stability in a straight line as well as around the corners. The main parts of USD or telescopic forks are stanchion or fork tube and slider. And the two forks are connected to the chassis using triple clamp or yoke. This is the bottom triple clamp and this is the upper triple clamp. The two forks connect the bike chassis using triple clamp. I will just show you. Telescopic fork. Telescopic fork are the most common front suspension system and majority of the motorcycles the world over uses this system. A telescopic fork assembly comprises of a pair of fork tubes which are attached to the motorcycle steering system that is the head bearings via a triple clamp or yoke. These fork tubes go inside a pair of sliders which are attached to the front wheel spindle. This ender assembly has spring inside along with fork oil creating an effective shock absorbing system. USD fork Upside down fork is a more modern version of the conventional telescopic fork suspension. Where the sliders which typically are at the bottom are positioned at the top. The sliders are also contain the spring as well as the oil. The upside down fork or USD fork offers advantages in terms of lesser unsprung mass and a stronger wider slider clamping onto the yoke. While it offers more stability and is suited for performance oriented machines. If the oil seals inside the top part break, the oil would drain out and it won't be usable unlike the conventional forks where the system still remains functional for some time after leakages. In simple words, telescopic and USD forks have same parts. The tube is the male portion and the cylinder is the female portion. Tube is technically called stanchion or fork tube and the cylinder is called slider. The USD fork is nothing but inverted form of the telescopic fork. However, does repositioning of a fork really make a difference? Well, it doesn't. In fact, it all just boils down to how rigid one is from the other. During braking or turning, the fork which acts as a lever undergoes some serious stress, especially the portion under the triple clamp or yoke. To elaborate, when you apply the front brake, it's the front wheel that comes to stop. The entire mass of the bike on the other hand comes to stand still only because it is attached to the fork which holds the wheel. I have already mentioned that in a telescopic fork the chrome part that is the stanchion is positioned at the top and held together by a triple clamp while the slider sits at the bottom. Turn the entire assembly over and you have the upside down fork where the slider sits up top braced by the triple clamp and the stanchion is positioned below. The section which undergoes the most amount of stress need to be the strong and a fatter diameter fork is the best solution. A USD fork works perfectly well in this scenario. Since the force assembly is essentially turned upside down, the slider now connects to the triple clamp it's also longer compared to a conventional telescopic force. As a result, it provides more support. It's also 
less likely to flex under hard braking or turning speeds. The bikes with USD forks handles better and provide better feedback. Additionally, damping cartridges on USD forks are slightly better than the damping rod seen on telescopic forks, as the damping or spring action is lesser progressive. The difference extends even further in terms of a fully adjustable USD forks, which uses more complex internal parts. This enables the rider to adjust compression, rebound and damping by tinkering with the adjusters placed on top to suit the rider riding style. However, it does have its drawbacks as USD forks are a lot more tricky to work with and disassembling them is a task. On the contrary, conventional telescopic forks are easier to work with due to their basic architecture be it changing the oil seals or just taking it all apart. The another advantage of having telescopic forks is that the fork tube stays away from all the dirt and grime thrown from the wheel since it is pushed further up top, so less chance of oil seal breakage and oil leak. But it's the complete opposite in case of USD forks. In case of an oil seal leak on a USD fork, the oil is likely to trickle on to your braking components, which is extremely risky. On the flip side, an oil leak on a telescopic fork will only hose down the slider. These are all about the USD and telescopic forks. Hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and also share with your friends. I will be coming with a new video. Till then, ride safe, stay safe, keep smiling.